Thank you very much. I think this would have given you some uh, gist about what we do and how we do. Uh, this part of it you already seen is the assertive team of uh, technical experts, quality specialists, regulatory affairs and manufacturing specialists here. This is a clean room where the entire manufacturing happens. This is designed and uh, validated as per ISO 14644125. We are expertise in design, development and manufacture of primary packaging, medical device, drug delivery system, diagnostic kit and customized product for pharma, healthcare and diagnostic markets. Investment over 6 million US dollar in an ultra modern facility in Bangalore, India. We have about 88,000 square feet of uh, plant with 30,000 square feet of built up area. It's a validated clean room of class 8. Strict adherence to CGMP. Many products are under global patent submission and complies to EU medical device directives. USA establishment registration in the center submission for 510K uh, for US. We are the pioneer and leader in injection blow technology for ophthalmic, nasal, as well as filtered and sterile air is used in blowing the bottle, which ensures much more particle count issue. A sophisticated servo control injection molding machines delivers very close tolerance dimensions to the devices and the product. Expert is in handling high speed automated assembly machine and multicolor printing for the devices. A dedicated product development team always keep developing a lot of devices and keep a database of device models. A large device design database which can be customized to suit your requirement. You could also come with your concept we will work on a synergy to advance it even better. The in-house tool making facility ensures the mold making for the new products are done much faster, the validation is done much faster, then we can go to commercialize in a larger scale. We also have a micro molding facility where the samples could be generated as short as in fortnight. It's a small 100 by 100 size mold. The cavitation can be single to four. So this ensures the product development phase is expedited much better. This is an assembly machine and one of the printing machine. We also have a global customer base, a strong customer base. So the primary, uh, this is a primary packaging for ophthalmic, which we call as a S design. This is again an international design. This can be used straight away into the existing assembly machine without need for any major change in the change parts. The reason is this is a global standard design. Uh, we have sizes from 3 ml to 15 ml. We also have a US DMF and European DMF for this design. It delivers a 40 microliter dose count. So it can also be done with 30 and 50. Uh, as of now, it's about 40 microliters. This is another design with the similar sizes, but it delivers about 30 microliter and 15 micro too. This is another TR design, which has a up to 50 microliter dose delivery. Uh, we to have a, a special nozzles for different dose count, even up to 100 microliter. We have a simple preservative free concept where there's a dual filter is put into the, uh, the nozzle the flow is regulated through a special flow pattern which can again give 30 to 100 microliter. Uh, we, this eliminates the use of preservative into the ophthalmic packing. Uh, we have the nasal spray which is about 20 ml to 30 ml as well as we have nasal pump which could deliver 30 microliter up to 150 microliter. Different actuators are also available in this design. Uh, we have a COP and COC vial, which is a good replacement for glass vials, especially when it calls for peptides or protein compatibility. The COP, COC is a new generation plastic, cyclic olefin copolymer and cyclic olefin polymer, which, would, which is much more stable than any other plastic for peptides and proteins and bioreactivity product. The left one, what you see is the implant device for uh, subcutaneous as well as uh, below the skin uh, delivery of soft depots. Uh, we have a needle safety guard device which could be used on standard ISO standard pre-filled syringes. It is called as a passive device. As soon as you 
uh, injection is done, the automatic device comes out and protects the needle, so the needle stick injuries are prevented. What you see on the right side is an uh, auto injector, which again can work with the both cartridge as well as uh, syringes, ISO standard syringe. This is a fully automated device. Once you insert it, it comes down, penetrates, transfer the medication, and the whole system auto medication with a count of 20 seconds, the whole thing goes back automatically and gives a protection also for the needle stick. We have to do the DPA for the unit capsule as well as we do a MDA, PMDA from 40 to 140 microliter delivery with different actuators. We also now working on uh, actuators with dose count which should be shortly available. This is a oral delivery system. We have uh, child proof closures from 20, 24 mm to 38 mm and pill containers from 30 to 2 liters which again made out of a injection blow molded technology. We have a oral syringe from 5 ml to 15 ml which can be printed in ml or in kg of the baby for the pediatric dose delivery which we have a CE marking to. This is a novel print dispenser. This is again a new patented uh, concept for a contraceptive application. You put a 30 capsules and then you can set a uh, start date of the medication. As soon as you press the button on the top, the one by one it delivers. It also keep a track of how many has been used and what is left out. If anything is missed out, that also can be uh, traced out. Uh, we have a design database for a insulin pen, both reusable and disposable with cartridge type. We have a special uh, concept in this where there is a automatic prevention of dose when there is no medication is available. If there is no enough medication, you can't set the dose more than what is available in it. And the operation is very smooth with the special patented material being used on the device. The right side what you see is the Lansing device for uh, blood test, especially for the diabetic, where this again works on automated system. Once you press the button, the whole system works. There is a cartridge which rotates and keeps about 12 to 16 Lancet fixed into this one. Uh, this is a quality lab uh, where uh, intensified USP and UP, uh, EP uh, tests are carried out. Uh, this gets validated for both machine as well as for the mold and the product. This is a test for incoming raw material, both the spectrometry and medi uh, MFI. This is for checking the torque test of the closures. This is for the stress crack resistance of the product so till the life cycle it doesn't crack in the market. This for the magnifying check. Uh, we are the first company in India with ISO 15378 for primary packaging, which covers CGMP. We are accredited beside 15378 with ISO 134485 for medical device, ISO 14001 for EMS. We also have a C marking for a lot of medical devices, so we have good exposure to that. Type 3 DMF for all the key products are available. FDA 51K for devices are under submission. Uh, we have a comprehensive method of checking DQ, IQ, OQ, PQ for mission and mold. So the product gets perfectly validated. There is no failures happens in the shelf life of the product. We have SOP for all the critical activities which gets re-audited every year. We do a periodic GMP training and audit. Our plant also been audited by uh, global customers which frequently every month we have one audit at least minimum. Uh, the AQL standard is being followed so which is again recognized internationally. BMR system with barcode traceability so both for stock checking as well as traceability of the product right from raw material to the colorant can be traced through the barcodes traceability. We have a separate team for QAQC so the controls are much stringent. The product complies to EP, USP, BP and JP. Risk management again we follow from product design stage till the product is validated as per 14971. We also validated the gamma and ETO sterilization facility as per ISO 11135 and 37 so that there is assurance on sterility in the market. Uh, on the new product development what we call we follow a, a stage gate process. At each level the whole FME study is done 
and it gets filtered if any problem happens in the development stage. So first we come with a concept, we present to the customer multiple choice of concept. Again, we do a design with multiple choice. When customer prefer a particular design, so then we go to the pilot phase by SLS or micro molding with within a shorter period and much economical way we develop and give this. When this process approves, again we have a comprehensive validation process, then the industrial and commercial phase starts for that. Uh, this is where you see a product design team. The middle one is the micro molding molds which develops in two weeks time for a new product and there's a micro mold for taking the samples and till the approval stage. So these are the innovative device partners, wealth, wealth of knowledge and experience in primary packaging, medical device, clean room production, and product testing validation. A long standing expertise in injection and injection below molding technology, high speed machines and printing machines. Product with international design and features so that the filling machine compatibility and the market compatibility is much easily acceptable. A proven track record of complex device development is exposed. Large device database, so readily we can offer you. You can also put your ideas and do your own design integration into that. Thorough knowledge in the product testing, raw materials, global regulatory requirements and validation and documentation. Yeah. Thank you for the hearing. You can have some questions we can share with you.